We all have worries to deal with from time to time, and when you're in a good headspace, usually it's okay. But sometimes it can be really hard to see past the worry. So let's talk about better mental health. Hello and welcome, I'm Jeremy Godwin and I talk about better mental health every week here on YouTube and in my podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Today I'm talking about some quick tips for dealing with worry. So I've got five key things that I'd like to share and the first is to pause and if necessary write down your worries as a means of getting it out. When worries are going through our head it can be very easy, especially if you're not in a great headspace, for them to just rapidly build and build and build and make it seem like the absolute worst case scenario. When you are in the middle of extreme worry, or when you're already feeling a bit fragile or overwhelmed emotionally and then stuff happens on top of that, it's so easy to just go down a path of thinking about the worst case scenario. And also everything seems to have a sense of urgency on it. So the first thing was really just to write all of those feelings down and get it out and then put it aside and come back to it 24 hours or more later. Because the thing about doing that is that it does two things. First of all, it gets it out of your mind or partially out of your mind for a period of time. But more importantly than that, when you physically release it, put it aside and then come back to it at least a day later, what actually happens is that the majority of it seems less urgent. And that's because you've taken the time to remove some of the emotions from it. And also just to give yourself a bit of mental breathing space to be able to think about things. So that helps you to move on to the second thing, which is that rather than dwelling on problems, focus on solutions. And now I interrupt this episode with a word from the editing suite also known as my home office. I had to cut a massive section out of here because when I filmed it, I had been talking about how my cat had been a bit unwell and how he had, I thought, recovered. He had most definitely not recovered. Don't worry, he's fine now. A few days after filming, I had to rush him to the vet where he needed surgery to deal with a severe bladder blockage and infection. As at Tuesday the 14th of December 2021, he is now back home and recuperating well, albeit a little unhappy to be bandaged up and having to wear a cone collar thing for a few days. So, two points here. One, when you focus on problems, you usually find more problems. And when you focus on solutions, you usually find more solutions. And two, if worry and fear is holding you back from finding solutions, you have to push through it or things can get worse. Back to the rest of the episode. So think about how you can apply that to any situation that you're in. The third thing I would say is talk to someone. If you're worried or you've got fears and concerns that are going through your mind, don't just bottle it all up. Yes, writing it and getting it out is really, really helpful, but talk to somebody who you know and trust and who can be a sounding board for you, or at very least just an ear to listen to what you need to say. There's an old saying, a problem shared is a problem halved. And that's very much indicative of the fact that when we are going through worrisome times, it's really, really easy for it to feel overwhelming and like a burden that we have to carry on our own. And you don't need to carry it on your own. Talk to somebody that you love, talk to somebody that you trust, and who hopefully can be both supportive and objective about the situation. The fourth thing I would say is either take action or accept it as it is. Whatever the situation is, you really only have one of two choices that you can potentially make. You either do something about it or you accept things the way that they are. Now, when I talk about doing something about it, this idea of you know, what you can and cannot control is something I talk about a lot in my work. I've talked about control in episode 48 of the podcast, and you'll find that linked in the description below. And it really is about recognizing that all you can directly control is what you do and say. You can influence other people, you can influence events, but you are not in direct control of anything other than the words that come out of your mouth and what you do or do not do. So when you put that into context of worries, all you can do is basically do the stuff that is in your control 
or accept the situation as it is. And my fifth tip is let it go. There are only so many things you can control. There's only so many things that you can do. So the worry stuff is not actually going to serve any purpose other than to keep you stuck in worry. And so it really is about giving yourself permission to let go of worries and to take things one day at a time. Now, I also talked about worry quite recently. I covered the topic in episode 95 of the podcast where I go into this in a lot more detail. Just think about how you can apply these simple five tips in terms of really thinking about how do you take the power away from worry so that you can then concentrate on doing what is within your control and moving forward through whatever comes your way that is out of your control. So I hope these tips were helpful. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a worried face emoji because, well, this whole video has just been about worry, so we may as well use that for the emoji this week. Catch my podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health, every Sunday for more ways to improve your mental health. And join me here on YouTube for new, better mental health videos every Wednesday. Click here to subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos and watch this video next for even more advice on better mental health. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time.